So in step one, if we go to our sheet with all the wires, we should have two pieces of, of red and black wire in 18 gauge and two Y connectors, as well as one female connector. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off of the sheet. Like this, okay, put these here. So we will strip using our wire strippers about, oh, maybe three quarters of a centimeter of wire off of each of the ends. And we want to do this on both sides of the red and the black wire. Okay, once we get that, we can kind of take our trash and throw it to the side. And we will take our wire compress and we will put on to both at one end one of the Y connector. So it's really important here with the Y connectors not to push the wire all the way through. Um, if you're new to making, uh, doing your own wiring, you want to have it go through and kind of touch the tip part. There's a little bit of a blocker, but it's easy to over push it through. So get that into position and hold it with your fingers and take your crimper and give it a good squeeze and Make sure it's snug and in place. Uh, we can check the continuity of this with our multimeter. So here's our multimeter um, set to check continuity. And if we hear a beep, that means we're good. So touching each end. And so that's good. Um, it's not, I'm not going to go through and check continuity of all of these, but if you're unsure if your crimping is uh, successful or not, it's probably a good idea to go back and check. Or if you find that you have issues later on that you want to diagnose, you can go back and check your connection. So um, I'm probably going to just, because I know my crimpers are really good, I'm not going to check all these, but we want to go ahead and put on the red wire for step one, a Y connector. So put that there. And again, crimp and usually if it feels snug and you can see that the wire isn't pushed all the way through we have a good connection on the other side of the red wire we're going to take our female connector and we will push this also through so we, again we don't want to push this all the way through we want to check on the inside um, to make sure it's touching that little post on the inside and hold it in place and crimp it Next squeeze, and again, that should be snug. So we have our wires now set for step one. So let's go ahead and grab our 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 solid state module here, this little this little relay box, and unscrew using our screwdriver. The number one and number two. So get those, loosen those up. One and two. And so those will be loose. And we will put into number one, the red. So I like to put the, the wire part facing upward. So slide that on in, in between the screw and the plate. And line that up and tighten that down. And same with the, the black, we'll then go on number two. Screw that in, so those should be tight. Shouldn't be able to move them. So we're gonna take our wires now, and we're going to fold them over and behind, like so. And this will be important later. So for now, we're gonna put this relay with these two wires uh, to the side here and we'll come back to this in a little bit.